Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. So today I've just put together a little fall lookbook for you guys. Just some outfits I've put together for fall, my favorite season. And I have the outfit I'm wearing right now plus five more. So let's start here. I am wearing this dress by Scarlet Darkness. Absolutely love this dress. It has this shifting velvet that's like blue and purple and then a peasant style top. I did pair that with a strappy Killstar bra and also these little cuffs that I believe I got on Amazon several years back. But just add a little something there and then for my purse this was gifted to me by a friend. This was this is a handmade leather purse from an artisan in Washington DC and uh, a friend did get this for me and it's really pretty. I thought it had beautiful sunset colors so I thought it'd be great for autumn. It does have like the mauvey purples in it so I thought it would go okay with this dress because of the purple down here and then I'm wearing ooh, I'm wearing my witch hat, my black witch hat and I did make the scale mail and bat little hat chain for it. Up here so you can see <laughs> I'm wearing um, multi-pattern fishnet tights. These tights I will be wearing throughout this whole lookbook. And then for shoes, if I can do this without falling over, I am wearing velvet granny boots. And these are like the perfect little fall shoe accessory. And I will be wearing these same shoes throughout this whole lookbook as well. Although as you guys know, I do have foot issues. So I'd really only wear these particular shoes to an event where I could sit down a lot. <laughs> and I would probably, if I were doing something where I needed more mobility, I would wear my normal Velvet Mary Janes that I, you guys see me pair with everything. So that's outfit number one. And I'm also having a problem with my camera angles. Like, I know I've done it before where I've been able to get on my tiny stool over here and then you'll be able to see the whole outfit. But right now, all I can do is I can get the top outfit, then I can get on the stool, and it cuts off my, part of my head <laughs> to get the bottom part of the outfit. So that's just what we're gonna have to work with this whole video. Sorry about that. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to mention, I'm also wearing uh, the purple contacts from Coal Eyes, which I also did a, a video on not too long ago. So the contacts were gifted for review. This dress I actually did purchase myself, but Scarlet Darkness did send me some things for review, and I think one of those dresses is coming up. But this dress I actually did purchase myself. I think yeah, everything that I'm wearing right now, except for the contacts, I did purchase and I'll let you know what things were said to me for review as we go through them. Here is our next outfit, and I love this dress so much. I've had it for years, I've worn it to death. It's actually beginning to get into not wearable shape. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's all this like scratching in the fabric, like it's gotten rubbed against something rough and got, you know, so the white's coming through right through here and it's also happening down on the skirt but it's just from years of wearing it and washing it and probably like leaning against things and you know all sorts of stuff that probably has caused damage to the fabric but this print is so adorable the little witch kitties and the fall leaves very fall i uh, and then the bodysuit I don't know, you may or may not remember this bodysuit from when I was doing the small versus extra large hauls with my roommate. Uh, we got these bodysuits and I thought that would be really cute underneath because this is a tank style dress. It's like a summer style dress with a fall style theme, but you put this cute little lace thing under it and it's perfect, a perfect fall little outfit going on. Uh, I switched out to the red hat, still the same hat chain that I did make. I would probably pair this, I'm probably gonna pair a lot of these outfits with my Killstar Batwing purse. And I have my Crucial 666 little bat belt and I'm still wearing these same tights and these same shoes. <laughs> so that is outfit number two, let's move on. Our third outfit is actually similar <laughs> in theme to the last one in that it's an adorable little fall kitty dress, but this is an adorable black kitten playing with a jack-o'-lantern ball, and it's just the cutest little dress. Let me show you the top here. It has this little bit of sheer, and it is just a short sleeve dress and this cute little collar, but I decided to pair it with this vintage blacklist by lip service Victorian themed uh, sweater cardigan uh, just because uh, you know if it is a cooler day or night I would probably want to throw the little sweater on and 
and this I, this I think would be like a more casual outfit. So I'm probably just going to go with my skull embossed Betsy Johnson everyday purse. This is my current everyday purse. And I just think that, you know, it'd be a nice little compliment for just, you know, everyday outfit. This, this I could feel comfortable doing just about anything in. And of course I am still wearing the same tights and the same shoes. <sighs> I really like, I'm so sad about <laughs> the arthritis in my feet because these used to be my absolute favorite shoes. When, when your feet aren't broken like mine, they are so comfortable. But because my big toe no longer bends backwards because of the arthritis, even this tiny, tiny little heel is putting a little bit of pressure on that toe joint and is causing a little bit of discomfort, but it should be fine for the rest of this video. <laughs> As I said, if I were going out in the world, I'd probably be wearing my my comfy Mary Jane, especially with this outfit, because this is the type of outfit I'd go shopping in or, you know, go out to dinner with friends or something where I need to be more mobile. So let's move on to, I think, I think we're on outfit four. Next is this Belle Poke Renaissance-y, maybe slightly Victorian-ish dress. Uh, this was sent to me for review, this dress. It is so soft. It has a sand washed silk feel although it's not silk it's probably a rayon maybe polyester but it, it does have that sand washed silk feel so not exactly satiny just like a really soft brushed feeling and i did pair that with this velvet under bust vest style corset and this corset i uh, did i did get off of amazon some time ago and I also have paired it with the Batwing purse again and uh, switched over to the black witch hat. The, the witch hats I think would go with any of these outfits and the witch hats are like the perfect little fall accessory. <laughs> and I, I did just order a purple one, which I'm waiting on, which I'm really excited about because I already have the black and red one, but I have a purple one coming and I can't wait. And <laughs> Not that you can tell, but this dress, as you can see, is very long. It does go down to about my ankles with these little shoes. Still wearing the same shoes and the same tights, as I said I would be throughout this whole video. But yeah, this dress is just so cute. It has this little double layer of ruffle there at the, the cuff. Bell Poke does make really cute vintage themed clothing anywhere from like the 1900s even before probably even before but, but I, I roughly from like the 1900s to maybe 1970 is the styles that I think they probably cover and and I do believe they are related to Scarlet Darkness. I just watched Lorena's Bell Poke video um, I'll try to remember to put that down in the description box and she got a couple Scarlet Darkness pieces from them. So I think they are the same company, just sort of two different brands of the same company. And let us move on. Like, that is the one problem. I, I never got around to shortening these straps. The straps on this underbust corset are just a little bit too long and they constantly slide off my shoulders. And I had meant to shorten them somewhere just a little bit because it just needs just a little bit, just a little bit because it's tight as tight as it'll go. But I never got around to it. <laughs> Maybe one day I will. All right, uh, let us move on to another outfit. <laughs> so this outfit is just this simple little black velvet dress that I found on Amazon years ago. I actually bought this in every color they had. I have like a red one, a purple one, and a teal one. <laughs> and this black one. And I can't let go of any of them. Like when I've been doing this wardrobe clean out, I'm like, I, should, I shouldn't keep all four of this exact same dress in different colors, but I can't let any of them go because it's like the cutest, easiest dress and I just love it. <laughs> so I'm keeping them all. <laughs> and I did pair that with this burgundy velvet corset that I got from Daisy Corsets on Amazon. I'll try to remember to put links to anything that's still available down in the Amazon description box. I did a whole video on Daisy Corsets. Sometimes you can find really good deals on them. Like occasionally one of the sizes will be marked down ridiculously low, like $20, $25. And if you can find one of their corsets in that price range, so worth it. However, I don't think I would pay the um, 
full retail price of like a hundred dollars <laughs> on one of these but this one this particular one this burgundy velvet one is actually really good quality and uh definitely much better quality i'm sure you can tell just from fit definitely much better quality than that just fashion black velvet one i wore with the last outfit now i'm pairing it with my razor blade purse from bright renka and bright renka did send this to me for review you've probably seen this purse on instagram i they, they sent it to like tons of i uh, i'm like Gothic influencers I'm flattered that they included me in that and sent me one because like some of the the people that have such huge followings <laughs> and I have such tiny followings on all the platforms and and uh, I, I, st I still got they still the they sent me one of these purses and I absolutely love it it's such a great purse it's excellent quality they actually recently released there's a little zipper pocket on the back uh, they also do it in a silver where this velvet bit is black and they um, just recently released a mini version which I'm all about the mini version I'm obsessed I, I really want to get the mini version and, and I I may purchase that once after I move and get settled and, and have some spare money I may get the mini version of this but this is a great purse I absolutely love it but it was sent to me free for review and what else oh the hat um, I'm wearing the black hat I could possibly get away with wearing the red hat with this. Also, an uh, interesting note, this red hat is like really big on me where the black hat fits me perfect. And I'm not sure what the difference is. I guess I just bought them from different brands. They both did come off of Amazon. My purple one is coming from Temu. So hopefully that one will be decent. They, they do have purple ones on Amazon, but the Temu one was a little bit cheaper. And I'm cheap. <laughs> and, and they're probably from the same place. <laughs> and what else? So the same shoes and tights as before <laughs> but yeah let me know what you've been thinking about my fall outfits ah <laughs> down in the comment section below and we only have one more outfit to go i'll be right back oh, i completely forgot to mention took the corset off i forgot to mention i'm wearing one of my uh chainmail pieces <laughs> that I make you know because you guys know I make the chain and scale mail jewelry and this is one of my own pieces and I, I just thought it was cute with the little red gem and the bat wings and I don't I don't wear my jewelry often I don't wear any jewelry often <laughs> but I was like this one has a really open neckline this needs something else but yeah I just wanted to point that out let's move on <laughs> and for the final outfit uh, this once again would work great with uh, the razor blade purse from bright rinka again this purse was gifted to me for review this dress was also gifted to me for review the dress is from scarlet darkness and it was from my latest scarlet darkness video a couple couple weeks ago i guess but i have this dress like they've so far they've gifted me this one I won one from one of their contests. I won a purple one in one of their contests and I purchased a black one and a red one that has like teddy bears and dolls all over it. It's like a really interesting weird creepy cute print. I mean it's not I don't think it's intended to be creepy it just it's creepy to me because it's like teddy bears dolls and mushrooms <laughs> so it's just a little weird but I and, and this outfit would also work great with the Batwing purse from Killstar, or just my regular everyday skull and boss purse as I throw things on the floor. I need to tighten the straps. They are adjustable. I just put it on and then like, oh no, I needed to tighten the strap, but I didn't because <laughs> this, this one just keeps sliding off. I'm I'm wearing a different chainmail necklace. This was I pulled out of because this is this is my sales room, like where I do my Poshmark and Etsy stuff. And I pulled this out of my Etsy box and I haven't, I haven't even looked at my Etsy in so long. I bet you all of my listings have expired. There's probably not even anything active on there right now, but this this one was a uh, was on my Etsy. <laughs> One day I'll reactivate all that again. I'll probably just wait until I move though and get settled and everything. And I did use the black witch hat, although I feel like the, the red witch hat would just be too much red. Yeah, so let's take a look. Yeah, and the shades are a little different. So yeah, no, I think the black witch hat is definitely the way to go here or just no hat at all. But yeah, let's put the black hat back on. Here we go. <laughs> All right, and then this is a, a really old belt that I got on Amazon a long time ago, and I've never been able to find another one just like it. It's all these tiny little D rings, and I just think it's it's awesome. It's just elastic with snaps in the back. 
but yeah I've never been able to find another one <laughs> and this top is actually it's it's from Shein or Romwe one of the two but it's actually a ripoff of a Killstar top and I actually have the Killstar top but I, I the reason that I chose to go with the knockoff version rather than the real version is the real version has much larger sleeves and I wanted these outfits to be outfits that I could uh, in theory, you know, be wearing this fall just casually, just running around and stuff, or this one's a little dressier. This one I would probably wear out to dinner or something like that. But yeah, so, and then also the real one has lacing right here, like it laces up right here, and I just wanted that to be open and plain. So that's why I did choose the rip-off version. The, the real one, though, is, is nicer in the print. The print is nicer, and it doesn't have, like, the weird white cast on the underneath. So the, the original is better quality just for uh, the type of uh, the function that I wanted, this, this top. This version just fit better for me. And I'm still wearing the same shoes and tights as I was before. So, wow, I've done a lot of rambling. I hope I didn't ramble too much for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching my little procession of fall themed gothy outfits. I, I did do quite a bit of color in this one, although mostly red. I did mostly red in this one. I started with the purple dress and then I just went red and black for the rest of the, the lookbook, <laughs> which is which is fine. It's, you know, it's fall and I'm really feeling the red and that one cat, well, both of the cat dresses had some orange in it. So I'm really feeling those those fall colors. Though I'm not sure how they go with the purple contacts, but you know, your eye color and your hair color doesn't necessarily have to match your outfits uh, because if that were the case I would be stuck with wearing nothing but blues and purples which I do a lot of the time anyway but I do like to wear greens on occasion reds on occasion I do have other colors that I do like all right enough of me rambling thank you guys so much for watching let me know which of these outfits was your favorite and what you thought of all of these as I said earlier if I can find any of these items still on Amazon the ones that were from Amazon I'll put links down in the description box but so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy the video of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it comments below and please subscribe to the channel and I hope everyone is just staying happy healthy and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in and I will talk to you all soon bye bye